Hi everyone, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be doing something a little bit Christmassy, hence the old Christmas jumper going on here. I've got the Advent Calendar. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be covering these whiskies. There's lots of these different Advent Calendars around these days, and lots of people are going to be doing daily content. A little tough to keep up with that sort of thing, so I thought what I'll do this time around is do kind of section tastings so we're going to do every four days i'm going to do four drams like a tasting we're going to open them up together hopefully but maybe not you know so my idea is that if you've got this tasting set and you want to taste along with me maybe open them every day to get that kind of advent calendar vibes but save them for when these videos comes out and maybe we can taste them through together that's the idea we'll see how we get on with it and we'll see what's inside a box like this this is the explorers box so this is generally speaking going to be for newer people to to whiskey i guess but really for people that are just trying to expand their knowledge base their repertoire of of whiskey let's say so i, I don't actually know what's in this kind of thing yet so we're going to open like four doors today i'm going to pour them into these glasses and hopefully i don't look too crazy on camera uh, by not knowing what's in this thing but who knows who knows it's just one of those things you know what you know and you don't know what you don't know at the end of the day Let's get into this thing and uh, we'll get straight into it. I'm not going to kind of cut this video or anything like that. It's just going to be very informal. So apologies if you get lots of this extra noise, but you know, maybe it's one of those ASMR things. Probably not, but let's try and find number one. There's number two, right? number one's here. So last year I did a bit of this and I, thought I found it quite difficult to get into this without destroying it, but so I'm just going to go with the old destruction. Chuck that down there, chuck that down there. Get the old fingernails into the wax. Oh, uh, okay, we've got Smokehead. Smokehead, we're gonna get some focus, no focus. Really do need to upgrade my camera. I will do that at some point. So, dram one, we've got Smokehead. I'm gonna pour these out and then we'll get back into them one at a time. Uh, I should say as well, very informal. My plan with this, Somewhat misguidedly, maybe I did put this out on uh, on my channel a little while ago and on my social media to ask if anyone had any kind of ideas what I should do with this thing. And um, the general consensus, maybe not general consensus, but one of the ideas was to do an infinity bottle, which is what I'm going to do. This is a, an old bottle from uh, a, a Summerton Whiskey Club bottling from the um, the Whiskey Baron. Lovely bottle, and I've been looking for an excuse to use this for something. So. I'm going to try these and at the end of each episode I'm going to just tip them straight in this and at the end of this, this is roughly a bottle's worth minus my sipping. We should have nearly a full bottle. Obviously it's going to be peaty because there's some peat in this already with the smoke head. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. It might be a terrible idea, it might be a great idea. Who knows? Who knows? It's a nice little experiment so I'm just going to keep that off screen until later. Let's open up the next one. So we said two was up here didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what? I did look where the numbers were before I started this, but I so quickly forget my short-term memory is not super good. But fingernails are kind of important for this. McMira Mac. Now I have covered this one on the channel, so if you want a more in-depth kind of view on this one, um, then go and check that out. But uh, I'm quite surprised by this one, and I'll go through that in a minute when I actually get to get to the dram. I'm just going to chuck them straight in. Why not? That's the fun of it, right? Number three. I've got it right here. That one was a bit easier. He says. Uh, okay. Shackleton McKinley's Shackleton Blended. Have to say I don't know much about that one. So uh, we'll get into that. I used to, um, I used to peel off the wax with my fingers fingernails to, to get rid of the wax on this and I usually do before if I use these some but these sample pots again which I do I repurpose most of these pots I do peel that that wax off because I feel it you know it's, it, to send it out again once it's broken it seems a bit a bit odd all right number four uh, um, number four there we go. I'm going for the kind of live stream vibe here but I didn't want to commit to do this on live stream in case I was busy that day you never know So, uh, sheep dip. Okay, um, there you go. I don't, I don't know much about that one either, to be honest. Um, I think it's a smoky one. I think it's a, like a blended Isla, maybe. Hmm, maybe. Maybe I'm just getting a, my nose is too good with peat these days. 
Right, okay, so first four days then. Um, hopefully, as I said, if you've uh, opened these with me, uh, that's been an exciting thing to do. But if you've tried these over the days, let me know. If you haven't tried these and you know about these whiskies, then you know, let me know what you think in the, in the comments below. Uh, and hopefully, that's going to be an interesting thing for you. So let's go straight back over to here. Um, probably a bit of a silly idea doing smoke, but I've got some cleansing gear here before. Let's put that nice and straight again, OCD. Right, so first we've got the smoke head. Now this is uh, Ian McLeod's, Ian McLeod's uh, Distillers, the people who own Glen Goyne. And if I remember, I'm doing this from kind of memory really, but this is like a, it's a single malt whiskey, it's an Isla single malt whiskey called Smokehead. Now, usually when you get a kind of, that kind of vibe, it's usually Kalila, you know, because they're, they're the guys that kind of sell their whiskies out. But I don't know for sure. And I'm doing this kind of, it's, I, I know the video isn't live, but I'm kind of doing this as I'm doing. So, you know, this is a bit, probably take a bit longer than usual. Definitely PT. Really nice kind of barbecue elements to it though. Kind of barbecued meat. It's almost a little briny. Hmm. Don't know about the colour. Could be coloured. Don't know. So let's not, let's not get into that. Not sure about the percentage on this one as well. This one is 43%. Uh, Reasonable. Let's try on the palette then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, more of that um, barbecue come through, but for me, it's a little more, little more ashy on the back end than I was expecting. Doesn't really help clear up which distillery it is for me. I mean, it could. It's definitely not the Freud. It's definitely not the more. Other than that. It's probably not Boone Harbour and they don't produce really kind of smoky stuff. Probably not Brooklady either. So, I mean, I'm going to go with my initial guess, which is Kalila. You know, a, a betting man would take that bet. Mmm. Tasty. I'm not sure how much that sells for. It's usually, I guess, about 35 quid, I'm going to say. If it's more than that, it's probably a little, uh, a little overpriced, but... Mmm, tasty. I do like my peat these days. Probably not one for you if you are not into your peat. Mm -hmm. I've got to cleanse between these things. I'm going to be quick firing these a little bit. Now, the next one. Probably very unfair to try this after a peated whiskey. But this one is the McMurda Mac. It is a 40 percenter. Now, this one here, they've, they've made no qualms about it. This is aimed at like a, a, a younger audience, like a, more of a cocktail mixing kind of audience. But now I've tried this a few times in different tastings and it's always impressed people. It's not the best whiskey they make by, by a, a long shot, but it's still always impressed people. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the nose on this thing is astounding. It's like it's like really like fresh apples like i say uh kind of appley notes all the time but this is huge appley notes on it apples pears orchards fruits that kind of thing it's got a really beautiful nose to it let's try on the palette mm -hmm. there's a little bit less going on on the palette than the nose but it's still there it's got this kind of fizziness to it this kind of effervescence to it on the back end like it's almost like you're kind of eating sweets, which is, you know, a, a dangerous and a good thing at the same time. I'm not going to try too much of that because um, I have covered it before. If you if you want to see my full review of that, make sure you go and check out the review of that because it's a very interesting whiskey and um, sh should be more highly regarded, I think. You know, considering its target audience, it, it sits quite well with people like me. And I know when I've done these kind of McMira tastings, it's impressed people when they've gone and bought bottles of it. it yeah, it's a good whiskey. Another cleanse then. Okay, so moving on to day three. I have to remind myself. Oh yeah, the Shackleton's McKinley's. Don't know anything about this. I know uh, obviously Shackleton is the the explorer, uh, and there's you know he had you know some stories of whiskey. I'm not going to go too much into that kind of back history stuff, but I don't know much about where this is from. Did it say on here? Blended Scotch malt whiskey. So yeah, I don't know anything more than that. Usually, of course, when I do my reviews, I do a bit of research on these things. Uh, I usually know a little bit more, but you know, that's the whole point of this. This is to try whiskies that you wouldn't normally have bought, and I haven't bought this one in the past, so. 40% again. Now, you know, I mean, just have another little sniff of this one here. 
the, the nose on that just blows this out of the water. It's, it's a nice enough with, uh, nose for sure, nice enough nose, but it's just not, not as interesting. It's quite subtle, quite understated. Definitely some kind of like space ID notes going on there for sure, but I don't know for sure. Let's try on the palette. Yeah, I mean, it's um, it starts out quite thin. There's a touch of pepperiness going on there. A really like a small, small touch of pepperiness. But this, uh, I guess, is like classic ex-bourbon Scotch whiskey. It's um, kind of vanilla -y in nature. 40% it's quite thin on the mouth feel, a bit watery. Let's have another sip. Very easy drinking, I will say that. It's um not a poor whiskey. Um, but already, out of the three I've tried so far, it's my least favourite. Um, if, if I was organising this into a tasting, knowing this, uh, I've never tried the sheep dip before, but knowing it's kind of smoky, I wouldn't I would have put the Shackleton first then the mirror and then the maybe the smoke in this I, I don't know which way around obviously i guess the intention is to try these on a daily basis and i'm doing something a little bit weird with this you know they, they i don't think they put too much effort into the order of things is what i'm saying um i think uh, I, i'm pr almost pretty sure that they're all the same as well hopefully they're all the same otherwise this is concept goes out the window a little bit but never mind let's have another cleanse and we'll move on to the last one mm-hmm Got some nice um, room temperature filtered water there to kind of really help out with this. So, sheep dip, another 40 percenter. This is a blended malt Scotch whiskey. Doesn't say Isla on this, but if memory serves, this is a uh, an Isla blend. Uh, and sheep dip comes something to do with um, not paying taxes. Not not this company. This company pays taxes, but the history uh, is something to do with marking the casks to, to not not pay taxes so, um, that's just me dragging something out of my of my mind hmm now well I do get a touch of smoke on this but not a lot it's again a very subtle nose I'm gonna try on the palette first and then come back to the nose I, I like to do that when I'm doing my reviews is to kind of really flood the olfactory system then leave it and then come back if you're not sure let's try on the palette Okay, yeah, it's um, yeah, I guess, I guess a touch of peat. I mean, this is a problem I'm having at the moment. Is uh, I'm quite into my peated whiskey and the real kind of <laughs> the real dirty peat. Love that. So when I try something that's kind of lightly peated or or is meant to be more heavily peated, um, I just don't really get it anymore. I'll kind of cancel it out a little bit on my palate. Anyway, let's go back to the nose on this. Now for me, it's. I think it's quite youthful. I'm not sure about that for sure. Um, I'm gonna just making a bit of a guess here. It seems quite youthful. Quite malty. The smoke is there. There's some vanillas there. I'm gonna guess mostly ex bourbon. I don't think there's kind of any sherry influence to this. Obviously, I don't know the, the drams involved in this. I'm not even sure if that's kind of common knowledge or not. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right on the nose. Um, the palette's a little different. Very thin on the start, a kind of waft of smoke comes across here. It's not, it's not dirty peat. It's not ashy. So, just like the other one, I'm going to guess that the, um, a lot, a lot of it is Kalila, probably very young Kalila, mixed in with a few other things to make it interesting. But um, yeah, I'm actually a little disappointed by that one. I have to say, um, I, you know, this is obviously a first impression. These aren't reviews in any way, shape, or form. Um, if I do a review on the sheep dip, I, I would uh, obviously spend a bit of time with it and um, and see if it changes over time. This is just an initial impression, but yeah, a little little disappointed with with how that kind of tastes. I, I wish it, the ABV was a bit higher, a little bit uh, more viscous, a little less watery, might make the difference to something like that. But there's not much going for it, I have to say. Uh, I don't know about the price of that. There you go. So that's my uh, days one to four. Uh, I'm going to do the next one, hopefully on the 8th uh, and do the the um, the four days leading up to that so if you are if you do have this one here you are interested in following along with that then make sure you save your drams and drink along 
Um, if not, you know, uh, you can always watch the videos anyway, of course, and enjoy. If you are that person, then make sure you let me know in the comments because I'm always good to hear that these videos are appreciated, even if you can't follow along. Uh, I will be putting the whiskies that are in this in the descriptions below. So when the next sets of videos come out, then you uh, can can pause the video and look in the description and see if those whiskies uh, are in your collection or, or whatnot. If you are interested in in drinking along and I'll, of course I'll do chapters as well so you'll be able to see where those whiskies start if you don't want spoilers for day one two three whichever way you're going to do this kind of thing and in any case let me know if you're enjoying this kind of thing um, and you know let me know if you're not as well because um, it, you know I like doing this sort of thing I'm going to carry on doing it this year but it kind of steers me to next year last year I tried to do daily content and didn't work so well uh, this year I'm trying something different and if you think that it could be something different then you know let me know in any case that stays one to four I'll see you again in a couple of days for the next set everyone have a Merry Christmas and hopefully stay safe